Hello everyone, welcome to another installment of Spiritual Alphabet. So, um, last letter that we did was A for awareness, and that is a perfect place for us to continue to this week's letter, which is B for bless this moment, or the blessing of this moment. So this is something that I've been practicing for a while. Um, I started practicing this a couple years ago and it made such a beautiful difference in my life. And in preparation for this segment, I went ahead and practiced this again for the past week. And uh, let me explain the idea and share a few examples. And I look forward to seeing if this practice might be useful to you as well, or if you do something similar or different. Um, okay, so bless this moment means that when we become aware of being conscious in any particular moment, we might realize that we have a choice for how to approach the moment. We can either approach it from a positive state of mind or a neutral state of mind, you know, having no emotional yes or no to it, or a negative state of mind, um, which is like, you know, anger or um, frustration, confusion, sadness, um, yeah, any, any other negativity, uh, self-blame, blaming others, etc., etc. It seems like it's it's quite easy to think about the negative, right? <laughs> a little less easy for for some of us to think of the positive because of our mental conditioning, and our you know sort of our our life conditioning. So, bless this moment is an active choice to bring a positive and a higher perspective to the current moment, and I feel having practiced this for a while, that it is such a gift. Um, it's like, it's almost like a secret to life that no matter what's happening, no matter whatever is happening so-called to us or around us or in us at any moment, that if we simply make the choice to bless that moment, to bring a, 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 a gratitude and an active well-wishing of the moment that it transforms the moment right away, that we don't have to wait until something better is happening to us right now, that circumstances around us change, that my body feel, is going to feel better later. We don't have to wait for any of that. We can actively tune the flavor of this moment towards the positive, towards the uplifting, towards the um, uh, seeing the goodness of the moment. And by doing so, we immediately change this moment and the meaning of the moment. And therefore, the actual experience of the moment for us. And it is... <laughs> It's so simple, because, and, it, and yet it's such a secret, so-called, because what we, I think what most humans naturally assume in life, and it's understandable, is when things are going well for me, around me, things are well, people are treating me well, the, 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 the weather is good today, the, um, you know, whatever situation around me is, is making me happy, then, therefore, it's logical to be happy when someone is treating me badly, when my body isn't feeling well, when something isn't going well with work or my, um, you know, my family or whatever, then logically it makes sense to be angry, sad, depressed, you know, uh, frustrated, da, 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 da. It's, it's logical. And yet there is a higher logic to all this, which is when we remember that we have a choice, <laughs> our mind, our spirit, our emotions actually have choices 
And this is where the awareness practice from last week was essential for, for all this. It's like to be, become aware that you have a choice right now and not just what you're going to do with your hands and with your mouth and with your body, but you have a choice of what to do with your mind. And what you have a choice of how to influence your emotions. Emotions, of course, are not easy to instantly change, right? When you're feeling sad, angry, frustrated, whatever, it's not easy to instantly go, oh, now I'm so happy and joyful and, and peaceful. But your mind and your words and also your actions, what you do with your body and with your hands, influence your emotions for sure. And it, in fact, it has the largest influence on your emotions than anything that could be happening around you, right? Your, your, the, the combination of what you do with your mind, your words, your, your body, your hands has the, is the most significant f lever in how to change your emotions, right? And therefore how to change your experience of this moment. And so blessing this moment is that is, is one of these tools. And, and how do you, George, how do you, how do you bless the moment? It's very simple. I mean, you don't have to literally speak out loud. I bless this moment. <laughs> I mean, you could, if you want to, whatever works well, I mean, you could experiment. I encourage you to experiment with, with different ways of blessing this moment. And in fact, I welcome you and, and, and invite you to comment below on how you would bless a moment. Uh, because we might each do it differently. Some of us might literally speak out loud or whisper, you know, if, uh, you know, unless, some, unless you have people around you, that might be weird. But uh, if you're by yourself, you can whisper or speak out loud, I bless this moment, or I, I ask for God's blessing on this moment. Now, here's, here's the thing uh, about asking God for the blessing of this moment, is that, well, I'll say this, if you, if, I believe the right way of praying, uh, maybe, okay, I, I'll set that aside, this right way of praying or not, but an effect, one effective way of praying, if you're going to pray to God to bless the moment, is to believe that it's already happening, rather than, oh God, please bless this moment, and then like waiting to see what happens around you, like, is, are people going to treat me better now, is the weather's going to be nicer, or is something good's going to happen suddenly, that is again becoming a victim of the circumstances around you and personally i don't think that's how god and prayer works meaning okay i'm going to pray to god for something to happen and then just kind of wait passively for that thing to happen um i believe that god works through us and um when we pray for something good to happen to us god says all right i'm gonna I'm going to do what I can without overriding your free will. But I'm expecting since you prayed to God, and by the way, you, dear human, are a representative of God in this life. So it's kind of like you're praying to your higher self, right? It's like, God, please bless this moment. And then your higher self, your, your connection to God or your representation of God would say, okay, well, how am I going to bless this moment? Because I'm here. I am, I am the most immediate um, free will oriented uh, embodied version of God there is in my life. I am the most representative of God in my life that there is. I mean, other people represent God too, and nature represents God, everything. But I am the one that can do something, that God can do something. <laughs> I am the Godness that can do something right now. So if I'm praying, bless God, please God, bless this moment. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Well, how, how will you bless this moment? How will you bless this moment? Yes, God will, it, God, it, the, the, you know, as represented by everything else in the universe, will also perhaps orchestrate some things in subtle ways and sometimes big ways. But I believe God wants, uh, God is not going to override our free will. God wants to strengthen, I believe, it seems, my, 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 my religion or my, my, uh, my, my beliefs say, God wants to strengthen your free will. God wants to strengthen my free will. God wants to strengthen our sovereignty so we become more of an individual. We become more like God, who has, well, God, you know, omnipotent, right? All powerful, all creative, all loving. Well, God wants you to be more like that. So <laughs> when we pray, we're, God's saying, good, what are you going to do about it? Good. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with you, God says. And, and well, what are you going to do about it? 
Yeah, I'll do my things I mean, without overriding your free will. But I want you to feel empowered. I want you to see that you empowered yourself with the trust in the whole. Yes, but you did what you could. You did everything you could. So bless this moment for me. I don't ask God to bless this moment because that, again, the cultural conditioning to me in my mind says oh, I'm going to wait for God to do something. I say, I say, I bless this moment in however way I can. So first, the idea of blessing this moment is to me, there is a gratitude that comes right away. A gratitude that this is a moment gifted to me. God, I, I didn't have to exist. Right? God lovingly, you know, compassionately created me to exist and is giving me every single moment. God, the whole, right? The, the God with a big G uh, is giving me this moment. This moment is a gift. So I bless this moment as in giving thanks to say this moment is a gift. I bless and give thanks to this moment. And I also bless this moment in terms of, um, giving my well wishes to this moment. And I bless this moment in terms of me bringing the godness to this moment. However, me as a representative of God right now, how, I, how would I act in this moment? So it's a, it's a gratitude, it's a well wishing, and it's a, an intention setting for being like God in this moment. Goddess, whatever word you want to use. So couple examples um, I took I took a few notes uh, came home from vacation from a break from a from a trip visiting my parents and uh, I, I had to clean the house I had to help clean the house and e naturally I am not someone who loves to clean uh, if you do, blessings to, to you. <laughs> what a blessing that you that you enjoy cleaning, right? And but some of us don't, my, myself included. And so the natural sort of mind state was, ah, oh, I have to clean, right? And then because I was practicing blessing the moment, I'm like, oh, I caught myself to say, wait, uh, I don't have to clean. I mean, metaphysically, I don't have to do anything, like literally, but I. I, I bless this moment. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to bless, I bless this moment of having to clean. So great gratitude for this moment. And, and how can I, how can I bring Godness to it? So I said, okay, I get to clean for our life here together. My, my wife, you know, I get to, I get to help, you know, my wife and, and, and build our, build us a well, cleaner life here, right? Get to do this. I bless this moment. And of course, there, therefore, not surprisingly, the activity of cleaning became more positive. And I continued practicing. Oh, I, bless this, I bless the need here to clean the toilet. I bless the need here to wipe the counters. I bless, I bless the need here to... And, and everything became more of a pra spiritual practice, right? As all things can be. So that's one example. Another example was... Um, Recently, a couple weeks ago, we had a problem with our water pump, and our basically we, our water pump broke. Uh, we, we, we're, we're new new to Mexico and learning how to deal with all this, and and we didn't have water for a couple hours. Thankfully, it was fixed within within like within a day. Amazing, bless that moment for sure, right? But we came home from the trip this time, and I noticed that the water pressure was 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 lower than than usual, and. I immediately thought, oh no, it's the water pump broken again. And then I caught myself, I'm practicing blessing the moment. So I said, bless this moment, bless this opportunity to deal with, the, with this issue. Because dealing with this issue is a spiritual practice. Also, it'll make me more resilient. It'll make me be grateful for the people who are helping. It'll make, it'll make us be more grateful for, for having water when we have water. Da, 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 da. So I, I genuinely went into that mindset of blessing the moment and the water problem that we might be having. And interestingly, now I'm not, I'm not going to say that this was because of my blessing, but interestingly, um, as I went to start to work on the problem, I went and checked the water pressure 
and it was normal. And I went back to the faucet and I tested it and it was normal. Now, of course, what probably happened was it was just some temporary, you know, water pressure thing from the city that it was lower for, for a moment or whatever, or for, for an hour or whatever. But <laughs> I like to think, I like to play with ideas in my mind and any kind of imagination that helps me with my spiritual growth. I said, all right, I'm going to just play with the idea that somehow blessing the moment helped me jump timelines. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, I was, I was, if I had just stuck with, oh, wow, got to deal with the problem again, and da, 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 then I would have had to deal with the problem again. And, but then blessing the moment somehow helped me jump quantum. Ch <laughs> okay, again. I'm just playing with the idea. I'm not saying this literally happened, okay? But who knows, right? And why not play with an idea that is going to empower my spiritual growth? So I said, I'm going to just to say that I somehow quantum jumped to another timeline where because I blessed the moment, it, you know, the universe, God said, you know what? You've learned your lesson. You don't have to learn to deal with that problem again because you, you realize you can bring a positivity to dealing with that so-called problem and you pass that level, congratulations, we're going to move you to a different problem now, <laughs> right? Again, the, the physical reality is probably that just, just a temporary glitch, but the spiritual reality, who knows, right? Um, another example, um, uh, sometime this week, a client had to, had to pause. Now, those of you who also have clients know how painful it can feel when a client has to pause because well obviously um you know you you you, you lose some income that you had uh you wonder if you did something you know you, you didn't do good work for the client uh you know it impacts your not only your finances but your self-esteem and and your your you know anxiety for, about the future and and how can i can i do good work and I, am i going to be able to get another client to replace anyway so a client had to pause fine Usually, obviously, I just describe what usually goes through a, a solopreneur's mind. Um, but then, of course, I was practicing blessing the moment. So uh, as tough as it was, I said, I bless this client. And I bless the moment of practicing the ability to show compassion and, 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 and trust that ultimately all will be well, that all is well and all will be well. And this is just an, another example from life to say hey here's a here's something to practice your spiritual growth let's see how you do a test uh, you know a, a, an opportunity to practice and so i did i, I blessed I, I i mean i didn't literally i mean I, I, I that helped me to respond to the client with more kindness trust blessing well wishing to say hey you know what i i hope th i hope things continue to go well for you and um, thanks for working with me and, and uh, but, you know, please let me know if I can help you in any way. Blah, blah, blah. And because of the blessing of it, oh, that, anyway, whenever we do spiritual practice, that in itself is already worthwhile. It's already, it's already worth doing no matter if anything good happens afterwards. I think this is really important. Right? The blessing of the moment isn't for, I'm going to bless this moment so that good things will, will happen for this. No, I'm blessing this moment because it's a worthwhile practice and it's true with a capital T that every moment is worth blessing. No matter what happens during the moment, after the moment, every moment is worth blessing. That is a truth with a capital T, right? Like, like every moment is a gift to us and it's, it's, it's ought to be be grateful for it well, wishing it well, etc. So, but naturally, because I came to it with a positive mindset and a, 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 a well wishing and a trust for that situation of a client pausing, I didn't think about it the rest of the week until now, until I had to talk about it now. I didn't think about it for the rest of the week. Versus in the past, when a client paused, Naturally, as a human being, a solopreneur, oh, I'll worry and, and concern about whether I'm doing something wrong and, and worry about the finances. Blah, blah, blah. And that would last for days. And that would probably impact how I did my marketing going forward because maybe there's a bit more desperation or something like that, right? Because, oh, now I need to replace the client. But no, because of that 
shift of heart and of words and of, you know, spiritual action. It turned, it, it released the negative attachment to that situation. And therefore, I was no longer, I was free, liberated to go on with my week and bless other moments. So, um, I, anyway, I, I, I'm, I should end this video now. I, I want to uh, bless you for, for watching this until this point. I hope that you got something out of this. I, I do look forward to seeing if this made any difference for you. And if you have anything you'd like to add, how will, you, how, how would it come naturally for you? How, what is your style of blessing a moment? What is your style of doing that? And do you have any examples if you, when you practice this or if you've practiced this before of what it was like to do that? So uh, thank you for uh, joining me on this journey. And I bless this moment with you. Thank you for, for being here.